double down, Honeymancy Crest and two tanky. Two tanky I'm hearing is good, but I don't know which comes to play with it. But I'm hearing it, it can be good. It can be good with Honeymancy. But I think you have to have the perfect uh, setup for it. So let's, let's go for something else. Slamming, I like slamming here. Oh, oh, guys, that is, that is phenomenal. So this one is just very OP, right? Just gotta take it, bro. That's just how this one goes. Especially with these items. Wow, let's go. Poppy uh, carry organ is just OP, guys. That's why we gotta take it here. But I mean, honestly, I would take it even if it wasn't OP. It's one of the coolest, if not the coolest, carry organ. I think it's really fun. And I have a Sterox. The perfect items are Bloodthirster, Sterox, Infinity Edge, is what I'm hearing. But yeah, the, the Poppy Carry Augment is so cool, man. Uh, your strongest Poppy ability no longer shields, but strikes three times, dealing 85% of the original damage. She just goes crazy, guys, okay? You play full Witchcraft with it, I believe. But I will check the tier list, just so I don't do anything stupid here. I'm gonna buy a bunch of the one cost to thin out the pool. Uh, we cannot make 10, but that's okay. That is phenomenal, guys. Let's go. TFT Academy. Let's just peep the comp tier list. And it is currently number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's number 6 in the in the tier list right now. So, like, easily S tier. Extremely powerful. Sixth best comp in the game. And uh, basically, like, what's better? Elise is currently the best comp in the game. Elise carry augment. Then the fourth best comp. Then we have Portal and Kalista. The fast nine. And then we have um, a Lilia carry augment. A Blitzcrank carry augment. Poppy carry augment, okay? So, you can see it's all about these one cost carry augments. They're extremely powerful. Yeah, Bloodthirster, Infinity Edge, Sterox. And then you can go for Zoe 3 as well. And then you just go full... Um, yeah, you just go full Witchcraft, man. You try to get a Witchcraft emblem, that would be amazing. And we just chill, yeah. Should be a comfy game, let's go. Should be a pretty nice high roll here. They actually play Rise Witchcraft, which is interesting. Um, if we get a Witchcraft emblem, very interesting. I personally would just play f uh, f Karma, and I think that's gonna be completely fine. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Obviously, if we get 8 Witchcraft, you win the game for free. Poppy Zoe. I'm sure we can 3 star Lilia as well if we find it, right? If we find a bunch of Lilias. Oh, if we find a bunch of this girl, we can also 3 star her. Yeah, this is good. No one has this carry augment. I do not have to check for that because no one can have it. If you have a carry augment, it is mutually exclusive with the rest of the lobby. If you get it offered, no one else will get it in their options. So just always keep that in mind, that's a really good change that they made for this new set. Uh, because it's very frustrating to be contested on your carry augment, right? Because it's, it's, you can't pivot. Like, you have to go for it. If you take Poppy, you have to go for it. Yeah, this is really powerful, guys. So she just slams down. Now, actually, the best item you can get on her is Prowler's Claw. That is crazy. We'll see if we can get that. Probably not. Look at this. Look, let's just look how cool it is, man. It's the coolest one. It's so freaking cool. Uh, yeah, let's see how we do. Let's go, guys. Let's see how we do. Hope you have a wonderful day. Good luck. Have fun. Thank you, Molly. Much appreciated. Uh, welcome back to Shuriken. Thank you for the 17 months, 18 months of continued support. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, what? Yeah, I need... I, I we, we, we know what I need, right? I could take it. We need the sword, guys. Because the sword is extremely important to us. Uh, since it is, uh, you know, Bloodthirster and Infinity Edge. You need a lot of swords with this unit. I have zero puppies. So usually, uh, you want to take this when you have some puppies. I had zero. I found another one, luckily. I found a fifth one, luckily. But this was a little bit risky, but I just wanted to take it because it is very fun. I mean, this makes me stronger. But at the same time... Uh, I mean, am I down to sell uh, Casio? Probably. I mean, honestly, freak this, man. Like, yeah. I'm just gonna... I, I get weaker, but like, you know, obviously Vanguard is better, but... I just, I just want to make 20. 
I don't think I buy random wish. Do I buy random wish, guys? One one thing. Because the thing is, uh, what if it's uh, combat power? We don't really give a frick about that. It's just minus one gold. It could be gold. It could be uh, rerolls. Could be. Could be. Mm, we will not kill this Warwick, but that's okay. Yes, five units. That's fine. I mean, guys, we're doing uh, we're doing very well here. Five poopies. Some more poopies, and we're back. And then, yeah, I mean, the comp is just full witchcraft as far as that. Well, it's a little bit different, as I said. It, it depends on the emblem we'll get. And all of that stuff, we will see how it goes. Wait, who am I missing? Oh, yeah. Like, you obviously can't play six witchcraft without emblem. Uh, because you will not find Morgana until later, so. But we'll see. We will see, guys. I'm a little bit broke. I think I sell this mother trucker, don't I? We just replace him with a new one. I just want to get the money. This guy's pretty weak. I can kill like two units at least. Although these guys are a little bit tanky in the front line. Two star Warwick especially. Oh, he's getting clapped though. Oh, they're getting freaking clappy. Yeah, we killed two of you. Nice. Good job. At least I think we killed two. Nah, surely, surely Zoe finishes the job. Oh my gosh, she didn't finish the job. That's okay. That is okay. I rarely get this augment, man. I only got this once before. And it's the coolest one. So I'm glad I got it. This time around. We are a little bit broke and we don't have as many puppies as we would like to have. We did get some Zoe's there as well, but you know, there's some problems going on so far in this game. Am I willing to sell her? Because I don't really play her on my final board unless I get Witchcraft Emblem. Otherwise, I will never play her. And even with Witchcraft Emblem, they do not... Rec they, they recommend... No, they do recommend six Witchcraft. But you play exactly without her. So, I don't know, bro. Yeah, I feel like we don't three-star... Like, we would only three-star her if we get, like, a bunch of her for free. Well, I mean, that is a bunch of her. Bro, these items are unplayable, man. Legitimately. That is a big ol' problemo. I don't even want to roll that much. Oh, but now I'm like two off. I guess I keep rolling then. That was very exquisite. That's really good. Obviously, that's really freaking good. Oh, my items are so bad, though. Ionic Spark is fine. Just not on Poppy. It's fine on, you know, Nico or something. I feel like this, this, this freaking Cassio is a mistake, you know? I could play Ari as well, bro. Like, low-key, I just play Ari and Cassio reroll. Wait, really, though? Also, this guy is way too tanky. This is a one-star, by the way. But just the items make it too tanky. I don't have Bloodthirster yet, so... Do not have any lifesteal. So we get... We take an L. Witchcraft Emblem! I, I can't even get it, right? I only have two traits active. Oh, I can get it. It's just lower chance, huh? And it's not Dragon Spirit. This is complete trash. Category 5 is also trash. Blossoming Lotus is fine. It's actually fine. I can go QSS Bloodthirster. Isn't Blossoming Lotus fine? Or am I stupid? QSS Bloodthirster? Hodge Bloodthirster would be insane. Infinite Lifesteal? I mean, this is fine. QSS Bloodthirster, right? The 2 cost transforms into a 3 cost. So what am I doing here, man? I mean, I'm not rolling for this, man. Yeah, GG, whatever, man. Yeah, GG. Okay. Uh, I feel like I just go QSS, right? Like this, there's no way I can't. I don't go QSS here. Yeah, like I'm not going for Casio 3, bro. Let's be real. Ain't no way. 
Little pop. I mean, I need bluffers, right? Obviously, guys, it's most important. Most important item. But it is very bad that we're losing here, man. Because, um... Uh, you're supposed to win with the carry augment, right? After getting the 3 star. You're supposed to go on a win streak. But we're getting shrecked. Just because we don't have that bloodthirster, so we need to get that ASAP. We will be first pick at least. So we will get it, but you know. It's still a little bit rough until we have it. Uh, what the, what does that rod do? What does that rod do? That rod does uh, something on Rise, right? Morello? Morello on Rise, probably. Yeah, yeah. Replication sword. Replication sword. I lose the game if it's not a sword, though, right? If I took a replication, I lose the game immediately if it's not a sword. I feel like the 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 laurel, laurel potential is just an instant bed loss. So I would level, I would rather not do that. Ari reroll still has better delta than six witchcraft for which you all. Yeah, but you gotta check the TFT Academy comp. It's like it's not it's not uh, six witchcraft. It's it's like it's rise and stuff. Like with rise, it's good. I think it looks really good. Do we win this? It would be really nice to win this. Nice, he didn't ult. Good job, guys. All right, what am I second pick? That's a little bit of a problem. Hopefully, we get the thing right. It would be pretty unreasonable. To not get a sword twice in a row on carousel when I'm picking very early. I mean, this, there's no way someone takes one cost, man. Unless they really need it like I do. He's going around it. Okay, uh, if he takes it, I'm, it's GG. Oh, nice, we got it. That is fantastico. There we go, okay. I think this is a phenomenal build. With Jeweled, uh, or with, with, uh, with his Lotus thing, I think this is phenomenal. They use Emblem on Rise or Gwen or any 4-star carry you get first. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, they recommend Rise, so... Like, what? I don't get it, man. Like, what, 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 what's up? The, what? They recommend Rise, right? It looks good to me. Rise looks good to me. I get Scholar as well with her. She's 3-star. What is the problem with Rice, man? Why are we being so ve vehemently against Rice? Oh, this guy is freaking smurfing, man. He's getting a Giga Cash out. He's getting a Giga Cash out, not even losing much health. Alright, go Poppy. The attack speed is a little bit meh on the QSS, but I mean the CC immunity is good, right? She goes crazy, bro. She just jumps away at the end. Freak is wrong with her, man. Uh, what am I doing, though, here? Like, obviously, I need Fiora. Yeah, I can go Gwen as well. Yeah, we'll see, man. Whatever we get, right? Rise is the goal, though. Rise would be the nicest Frick. I want to try that. I've never seen it. I hope I get Witchcraft Emblem. That would be really sick. So we get the full Juicer comp, right? I mean, I level here, right? I still make 40. I get four thingies. Zoomify is good enough. I don't need this ever. Radiant Refractor better for what? Sterox, I guess? I don't think Radiant Refractor is better at all. I think a Radiant would be bad in general because we're playing a one cost reroll comp. And the enemy getting a Radiant would be. would go crazy. 8th Bastion Crest has higher cap than the Rise version of this comp according to Tactics Style Tools. Alright. Don't think we can do that though. I'm pretty sure I already declined the Bastion Emblem, no? Or no, Bastion Emblem was at the start of the game. Or was it at the second thing? A Bastion would be fun. I'm pretty sure 6 Witchcraft is insane though, I see it win all the time. They take bonus true damage from Puppy, and then also Puppy heals. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. 
Oh, frick. Wait a second. Wait, una segunda. Do I just go right in the edge of night? On Fiora, right? I forgot about this. We're on the Radiant uh, Augment uh, item thing. That was really unlucky. Because I didn't get a good one for her. I'm pretty sure uh, Edge of Night is not worth. Is Edge of Night worth? I feel like it's better on Poppy, right? Yeah, on, on Fiora. So like it's way better on Fiora, right? Ah, <laughs> <sighs> but I have to give it to her, man. Like, what do I do? Do I just move um, Sterox then? Like, bro, I have to give it to her. I'm gonna lose every single fight. The question is, is it Sterox? Yeah, whatever, it's Sterox, man. And then who gets this? And I'm just gonna itemize her, bro. Like, I have to itemize, bro. Like, I'm, I'm gonna freaking die otherwise. I have to freaking itemize everything. Look, he just gets a Radiant thing. Oh man. That's really lucky, guys. That's insane with Preserver Emblem. Look how tanky it is. Uh, this is really bad, guys. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Hopefully I get two more removers. <laughs> but like, I have to put this item. Look, I would've lost otherwise. I have to slam all the items. I would've lost this. I can't lose any health. I gotta, I gotta keep up, man. Because I feel like by not win streaking stage three, I'm already behind. You know what I'm saying? So like, I need to, I need to pop off. Potions, which is abilities also curse the new ice uncursed champion. If all champions are cursed, which is gain 20, 25 percent attack damage and ability power. I feel like this is only good with um, witchcraft emblem on the thing. I think I just take you up my sword. I get an edge of night on Fura. The problem is we don't have a Fura, man. There's beauty in even the smallest moments. You think you can win? That is El Problemo, guys. We do not have a Fura. That is El Big Problemo. Radiant Edge minus 0.12 on Poppy. I don't think I had a Radiant Edge there. Oh, you mean... I, I thought you were talking about Edge of, uh, Infinity Edge. <clears throat> no, I'm sure the item is fine, but I feel like it's just so much better on Fiora, right? Than on Poppy. I'm sure it's fine, it's just... I think QSS on Poppy and the Radiant Edge of Night on Fiora is better than a Radiant Edge of Night on Poppy and QSS on Fiora. You know what I'm saying? I think that's just a way better thing there. I mean, this this QSS is Shoujin combo is not even that bad on this Zoe right now. I'll just leave this. I'll just leave this. I mean, am I ever playing this guy? No. Do I go level 8 next turn? I don't really want to. I feel like it's a little bit too early. I do need four Witchcraft, though. Like, at least four Witchcraft. Four Bastion, four Witchcraft. Ideally six Witchcraft, of course, right? But... This guy is playing Fiora. And doesn't have a Fiora pair, that's good. Has a Gwen pair, though, and I would like Gwen. This guy's Radiant... Radiant Gargoyles on, on Monkey is really... Oh, that is, that is nasty, guys. That's a nasty freaking build. Look at this guy. Oh, that is a nasty freaking build, guys. Radiant Morello, ra another Radiant Gargoyles. Three Radiant Gargoyles this game, man. Three freaking Radiant Gargoyles. That is crazy. It's gonna be really hard to win this game. Because, like, my, my girl will just get stuck on the Radiant Gargoyles, right? She can't really uh, get through that. And she only jumps to another guy if she kills something. Right. Or does she just jump? No. I think she has to kill something to jump. I think. I'm pretty sure. Do I get this? I don't think I'll get this. Let's be real, man. That would be perfect. But like, let's be real. Someone has a Preserver Emblem. You think I'm getting this? You think I'm getting this? At least I get the sword. It's one cost. It's a one cost sword. Probably get that. Let him pick first. Perfect. At least we get sword for Fiora. 
It's not that bad. I mean, I have to roll, no? Oh, assassin is kind of fun, no? <laughs> Do I just play this guy? Or what else could I play? Pyro? Yeah, it's kind of worthless, though. I mean, bro, you already know we're doing this, right? We're doing this? We win those? <laughs> oh, wait, this guy just cashed out, didn't he? Oh, look, I'm killing his Fiora. <laughs> I might kill him. I might actually kill him. Because of this. <laughs> look, bye-bye. Baby boy, bye-bye. Two-star carry with Radiant? You're freaking donezo. Uh, that's such a stupid charm, man. This is the dumbest charm when you are on the receiving end. It's the most fun when you're dishing it out. Haha, <laughs> lol. You should never lose this. That's really good, though. Because we get it in the best matchup possible. Because the only way I win this fight is if I have this, right? It's the only way. And this is really freaking good because we need to win this fight. You feel me? We need to freaking win this fight. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going fast 9 now. After winning that fight. I'm just going fast 9. It's over. It's Jover, guys. It's actually Jover. Actually, I'm, I'm not freaking... I actually, like, just don't clump this so we... With the other idiots. Is there any unit I can play? No. I mean, 3-star... Like, I'm not winning against 3-star Vex. L like, just let me tell you that, man. Okay, this is winnable. This is winnable as frick. He has carry freaking zillion, man. He has a 2-star Morgana, though, but who cares? Like, I, I don't think this kills... It doesn't have enough burst to kill my puppy. Oh, yes, Zoomify, though. That makes Smolder so broken. Just flies around like crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. We lose those. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, never mind. Maybe Morgana is enough. Oh, this probably did like, yeah, yeah, that's dumb. I mean, level 8, 2 star Morgana. So I won't find Morgana. Basically, so we're going dead last. I'm pretty sure I just roll down after this now. I do not go level 9. I, I give up on level 9 ever, this game. I just roll the freak down. Like, I already sell this. I sell this. I sell this, this. I'll keep this because it's a 2 star. For now. I'm just going for this comp. Uh, Gwen can also be in the team planner. And what the frick else do we need in the team planner, guys? Maybe like Hecarim. Maybe like this. Be nice. Am I, getting I just to be flexible. A four cost you have turns into a five cost. Yeah, whatever, frick it. Honestly, not even bad. <laughs> Wait, can I not connect you, bro? Bro, this hitbox is so buggy, man. <laughs> okay. Is it even that bad? Is it even that bad what I'm playing? Didn't I kinda cook? Didn't I kinda cook, man? I did cook though, I actually did cook. I'm pretty sure I don't play four, uh, four, four Bastion. I play, um... No, she got it. You think you can win? Nico, back in her Nico can. Power changes everyone. <laughs> I didn't find a single fuel robin. Is it even my fault then? Is, is it actually my fault? I didn't find a single Fiora. I mean, it's not my fault. This was the worst game I've played in a long time. 
There's literally, like, I, I, as soon as I see the Radiant Edge of Night, it's game over. I'm bottom four. I was gonna do well, but as soon as you see the Radiant Edge of Night, game's over. Like, as soon as that's my best dog item to take, the game was freaking over. Yeah, I mean, game was over, man. As soon as I see that. Beauty and life. Two tickets to the gem show. <sighs> True damage 12? I don't know about that one, buddy. I don't know about that one, buddy. Okay. Bro, I'm going dead last. Legit. Freaking legit, man. I just play four Bastion again. I kicked Tom Genji for a Bastion. Unit. I think it's worth. I lose some true damage, but it's fine. Wait, 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 hold up. I'm kind of winning this one, though. Wait, wait, wait. If I get a top four, I'm happy, bro. Honestly, I'll keep the buck, guys. If I get a freaking top four, I'm happy. Like, I feel like that's really good. No, like, I, I played really flexibly this game. I played really freaking flexibly. Like, look, look what I ended up with. with. With such a weird comp, no? Like, just one Diana, I'm back. Oh, there's a Witchcraft Emblem! Oh, freakity freak. I think I just go for that. I just play four Witchcraft. No, I don't think I even want to play four Witchcraft anymore, guys. Wait, don't I need the Even Shroud? I'm pretty sure I need Even Shroud, man. Even Shroud on this guy is good as frick. I just go Bastion. I'm pretty sure I have to play for the best team right now, which is this. I think this is good. Like, how bad is this team, man? It's not bad, bro. It's actually not that bad. It's actually not that bad, no? Fred, and now, now I'm just done. I'm just done. I just buy charms every time. 8% 8 true true damage. About to be uh, 12. About to be 12% true damage. Like, one, one more turn. 12% true damage. And, like... Poppy does a ton of damage, so the true damage is actually good. Like, my, all my units are full spell-based, right? I killed the freaking cash-out guy. That's pretty good. Wait a second, I'm actually strong! I think I cooked, guys. I'm playing a completely different comp than I'm supposed to, and I'm kind of popping off. I think that's nice. We take those, guys. We take those for realsies. We have a QSS on Zoe, but I think it was well-executed. With what the game gave us, this is given the circumstances. Salvager. Salvager, what do you think? Salvager? Maybe go Infinity Edge instead of uh, Sterox? Nah, I, I don't think it's worth Salvager. I don't think Salvager is worth, man. Because this QSS could be a guard breaker. It's not even that good. I have to roll for a good Augment. Yeah, this is way better. I need, I need the, the, the win. I need the win, guys. Move items to Nora. I don't think it's even worth. I mean, that's probably worth. But, like, I feel like I need the spike. And I think this is a bigger spike. It was a little bit risky, though. I could have just gotten some trash charms. It was definitely a little bit risky. But double ZZ Rot is for sure stronger here. And I feel like more Nora is... Bro, it's no mage. It's it, like it's not even close, man. It's not even close, buddy. It's no mage. I got a top four. Insane, guys. Actually crazy, man. I don't think I can get a top three because... The problem is... Um, the problem about a top three here is this guy is way too powerful. With this setup, he's way too powerful. And then this guy... Uh, it's kind of far from Vagar 3, actually. Wait a second, I I'll try to roll for Vagar then. I just need to screw him over, right? Because he's the only guy I can defeat, and this guy has too much health. He has 41 health, so it's unfeasible. 
Like, I feel like the only one I can beat is the Vagar guy, as long as he doesn't get Vagar too. Keep still. Sticky fingers. <laughs> Your team gains armor. Good. Bad. Did he just hit Vagar 3? No. Gain a 5 cost champ. Frick it, I just get something good. I got Giga Trash. I just lost the game. I'm a moron. Moron for real. I don't know. I don't know if this is the right choice. I mean, guys, we're not getting through this freaking monkey, man. Look at this monkey, guys. Look at this guy. Holy frick, he's dying. But oh, my puppy dies too fast, man. Nah, bro, like, this guy is unkillable. Like, he just high-rolled out of his mind. They all high-rolled their Radiant item. Like I told you guys, as soon as we see the Radiant Edge of Night, we lose the game. Yeah, yeah, we're to fourth. But, guys, I think a fourth is fantastic, in my opinion. Because what else can I do, really? Right? Like, what else can I expect other than a fourth? I mean, I'm just rolling for fun at this point. It doesn't do anything. Because I'm dead this turn. I'm guaranteed dead this turn, man. Maybe I should have rolled for Assassin. I don't know, maybe she, she focuses this guy and ends up at the top. What is she doing, man? Why did she just walk zigzag like that? We can't get through Radiant Gargoyles, man. We have a melee carry against Radiant Gargoyles. This is impossible to win against anyone that has a Radiant Gargoyles. And three people this game had a Radiant Gargoyles, so it's just very unfortunate. And he has a Dragon Claw as well. He has a Dragon Claw as well. I don't have magic, but guys, I think this is a great uh, game still. I'm very happy with this one because after I lost, uh, after I got the bad Radiant item, um, it is game over, right? It is basically game over. So getting a 4th from that position and even playing a completely different comp with Arcana, this is not the most power the Poppy Augment can produce because obviously I didn't high roll and get the units I needed. I didn't even get a single Fiora by the way guys, until very late where I didn't need her anymore. So I think we'll take it, guys. That was really fun. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Subscribe.